Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, I'm back again. It is back to back. I told you from the beginning that today will be in series. And I decided to break them up so that you'll be, be able to take them one after the other. Mm -hmm. You could tell one, I buy another the other one. The one when I go, how are you now, eh? But that one, you say, if you hear them, you are here, go do, you will be like, say, they put gen inside your ear. You will be like, say, they carry one full hurricane of water and pour it inside your ear. Boiling one. What am I talking about? You have been hearing of corruption. You have been hearing of acquisition and diversion of public wealth. And the one that is at the center of it is Deziane, the former minister of petroleum. My dear, I had that one. It shocked me. We're going to hear for yourselves. The value of those jewelries, it's on the paper. So, can you please read it out for their own? It's the estimated values that we have. It's the estimated mm -hmm. value, the value that we of have. one person's jewelry. The estimated value in Naira uh, was given at uh, 14 billion 460 million uh, Naira. Yes. I think, you know, I mean, I want you to repeat that because members didn't like it. It's the estimated value. That yes. we have, yes. No, can you tell us the figure again? Fourteen billion four hundred and sixty million. Is it for houses, for cars, or for jewelry? No, alone? for jewelry. Yes. 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 Uh, Mr. Chairman, please. Yes, sir. What about the value of the houses and cash? If you are in the position to set it up, please. It's about uh, 80 million US dollars. 80 million US dollars. Why are you scared of money? Estimated no. values. <laughs> Why are you people acting like you are hearing figures and you are getting scared? Thank you. Thank you. Why should this scare you? I mean, if a woman is bold, why are you so scared? <laughs> okay, that, that will take me to another question, sir. Can I continue? The vessels seized, were they with products or they are not with products? Some are with products, some are not with products. Some are with products, some are not with products. And you can, you can, you can uh, differentiate them. So I think we're there with the issue of the vessels at our last session. All right. And then you know, ask questions concerning the products and the sales. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take time out to probably set up. A, it is a subcommittee, a technical committee, because we want to fiscally take a look at some of this item to know their state. The reason is this: if you have an asset and it's worth 14 billion, and some of them could be deteriorating assets, we need to be sure that they're still in such a fit and proper state. Or, you know, if we keep keeping them, they're going to go. I'm sure you have cars that were seized. So every day you have a forfeited car, you're losing value. Why does it take so long to, act, to turn this asset into cash to fund the budget? When I hear them, it is not a new thing. This is not the first time it is happening. Because some people will say, because I'll go somewhere before the end of this video. I'll touch some places. Before you say, I mean, uh, I, I'm supporting corruption. Let me first of all tell you that this is what Nigeria has become. This is an explicit example of what public life in Nigeria is. Irrespective of your position, whether state, federal, or local government. The story is the same. The only difference is the amount stolen. Now, 14 billion, 14 billion for jewelry, earring, earring, necklace, bangle. What else is jewelry? Watch. 14 billion. The destiny of a people. Hi, these people is go over and over. But when you are thinking that this woman has stolen 
the future of Nigeria. You are joking. This one is just an intro to what is happening currently now. Nigerian politicians are the most wicked set of people. African politicians are the worst set of people. And that is why Africa had never developed. That is why they will keep borrowing money and still steal that money. They will steal that money they borrowed. They will convert it into their personal use. It is business as usual. Who go who? who? Who go hold who? Today, the one we have now. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Now, the kind of stealing, corruption. You know, I said it that this corrupt issue had been a system in Nigeria. Hmm? good but in this very administration it had become an institution corruption had become an institution i didn't say this i didn't publish this i saw it just like every other person you can go and make your verification i'm dropping it so that you go and make your verification and ask questions now watch on the news today, Trump releases names of Nigerian politicians who stock looted funds overseas. U.S. government unveils the still richest politicians from Nigeria and names of U.S. bank they stocked public funds they stole. Name, bank, and amounts. Aisha Buhari, J.P. Morgan Chase, New York, $2.9 billion. Colorado Buba Kalawao, American Express, New York, $2.5 billion. Gaba Shehu, Wells Fargo, San Francisco, $2.3 billion. Ahmed Idris, City Group, New York City, $2.1 billion. Hey! Aero 5, City These Group, people don't keep New York City, you know. $2.6 billion. Femi Adeshino, U.S. Bank of Minnesota, $1.9 billion. Baba Ghana, Mongonu Financial, no Detroit, $1.8 billion. They're not the same person. They're the same for their children Papa and their grandchildren. BB and oh, C, North Carolina. 2.9 billion dollars. Abayomi Oloni Shakin, City Group, New York, 2.3 billion dollars. Sadiq Abubakar, State Street Corporation, 1.9 billion dollars. Lawal Dora, Wells Fargo, San Francisco, 2.4 billion dollars. Amina Zakari, City Group, New York, 1.8 billion dollars. Zara Buhari, Bank of America. 1.2 billion dollars. No wonder. Habib Abdullahi, U.S. Bank, 1.7 hey, hey, billion dollars. Hey, Baba Haruna Jaro, Ali Financial, 2.2 billion dollars. Umaru Dambata, Bank of America, 1.7 billion dollars. Oh, Ali Yugosau, Ali Financial, 1.3 billion dollars. Babache David Lawal, BB Financial, 978 dollars. Hey. Babatune Fashola, American Bank, 2.4 billion dollars. Chris Ngige, Northern Bank AA, 2.7 billion dollars. Abdul Rahman Dabasu, UNITBS, 2.6 billion dollars. Solomon Dalong, American Bank, 4.2 billion dollars. Lai Mohammed, Ali Financial, 1.3 billion dollars. No Mohammed Buhari, 3.2 billion dollars. Aisha Hadisa Rika, 976 they don't million for dollars. Alarm. What a shame, guys. That's it on this news. I would love to drop a few nah, 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 videos like concerning road. this news. As you guys can see, Buhari, Nadi Kres, all of them. They are all thieves. No. This is the same man that has been going after people, fighting over corruption. And yet, his money is $3.2 billion. He's even the highest no, the 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 and the 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 when their future generation has you more good to play against Nigeria, what is the point of this money that they are stealing? When I hear them, when I hear them, not be my ear, big pass your ear. Not be my eyes, 
they should pick past your own. When I don't see them and I don't hear them. Why this year was busy stealing money? You know, particularly raised or would be paid for from resources from her own territory. That's oil money. This Fulanis that are occupying seat of power, stealing oil money that is not from their land at all. You know why we say, let's bacchanize. So that when somebody is stealing our money, nobody will tell me it is a Fulani man that is stealing it. And that is why I should get angry. So that nobody will sit in Abuja pretending to be serving our people. Whereas he is there conniving with others to steal the wealth of their own people. Why their people are suffering. I believe if you go to the Zianis village, you will see... In fact, there is, there is no good road around there. There is no good hospital around there. The primary schools in her community, the primary schools in her community is nothing to write home about. If you think I'm joking, go, go to her village. Both from her village and to her husband's village. You will see things for yourself. These are people that have jewelries worth 14 billion. Adekuzioku houses, Adekuzioku cars, Adekuzioku, the money stashed out in the bank. And you call yourself my people. Wicked people. I say the way it is. It is happening in all the states. It is happening in all the local government. It is happening in Nigeria as a whole. Without exception. You know when I say that in Nigeria they have just one political party. Party of personal interest. They are just, just for themselves. For themselves alone. They represent their pocket. And that of their associate. Political associate. That is all they represent. With nothing for the people. That's why Nigeria had been turned upside down. <sighs> Finally. Who are the victims? The ordinary people. Let me cut it there. Hmm? Let me just end it here. And allow you to reflect on all this. Allow you to reflect on all this. By tomorrow, we will continue. We've had enough for today. Subscribe if you have not. Like and share. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion. I'm signing out. Stay safe.